Hey YouTube, it's uh, Chris WX4SAR here, and uh, I'm uh, getting my antenna ready to install. Uh, I had to lay it out here on the ground to uh, take out the slack and make sure that the uh, wire was the right length. So, uh, give you a look at it here. I'm getting ready to clip the excess off and then disassemble it and bring it back inside, and then we'll be ready to install. So let's just go take a little walk. This uh, the rods are 33 feet plus two and a half. That's 35 and a half feet. So here's the end of it, which max matches up with the edge of the roof of the house there, right there, and the exa the or the uh, entrance for the attic is like right about here uh, inside of course so uh, it'll take a little work to do but I think I can get it done today and then hopefully tomorrow I can do some testing so back with more here in a minute all right, I just uh, realized something after reading a comment on the uh, first video. I don't actually need all of these zip ties to run the length of the poles. I only need to zip tie the wire at the very end. And in fact, having it zip tied the whole way down uh, actually makes it almost impossible to screw the sections together. I just found that out. So I'm uh, unclipping or I'm snipping off all of these uh, zip ties here except for the last section and that'll allow me to assemble it a lot more easy and still be able to slide it up across the roof. So live and learn and uh, this is what field testing is for. Next step here is going to be to drill a hole through the bottom of this pantry for the coax to come through because at the top of the pantry is the entryway for the attic so at, the antenna is going to go up there coax is going to drop down and through a hole there right above the basement stairs and then from there we'll go into my uh into my shack so let's get this going breakthrough Sorry. all right we got breakthrough here but we got another layer down there and hopefully when we drill through that it'll come out right above the stairs so Houston we have a hole No animals or ghosties. At least I hope. <laughs> All right, Billy, hand me the, end, the first section. Hey there. Okay, so things did not go as planned. These uh, fiberglass rods were not stiff enough to get all the way over there. So I ended up having to go to Lowe's to get some half inch uh, PVC pipe. And I fed that all the way across the attic. And now I'm running the um, wire through that using the poles. So it looks like this is going to be the uh, the way to go here. Hey guys, I got the uh, main antenna, the HF antenna run. I'm getting ready to hook up the coax. 
And I also mounted a uh, dual band mobile antenna up here. And I'm getting ready to run the coax for that too. And then that's it, it's done. All right, get the coax for the dual bander. Got the coax for the HF. HF is run all the way across the attic there. Man, that was a pain. Right. And the coax runs down through the hole I drilled. All right, let's uh, finish up running the coax and then we can have some fun. All right, I made a couple of little adjustments here. I put a uh, cable tie right here, or cable uh, cable clamp right here, and I put a little S-bend in the coax to take some of the strain off of this part here, because all the way to the coax was just on the connectors, and I didn't like that, so uh, that'll take the strain off there, and I put a tape, piece of tape here so stuff doesn't go falling through the bottom down there. Just got to put the cover back on, get the lantern out, and uh, then uh, run the cables to the radio. Whiskey X-Ray 4, Sierra Alpha Romeo.